Hello everyone, welcome to Salon Noah TV. I am Fani, owner here at Salon Noah. And I am Nicole J, the manager here at Salon Noah. We are excited. Yeah! We have another king in the building. Yes, King Crush, King Crush. Yes, <laughs> We are here with Chad yes. F. Lucas, photographer. <laughs> yes. Extraordinaire. Mm. <laughs> yes. Hey Chad. How you doing? How you doing, Mr. Lucas? So if you look, if you look at Salon Noah TV, there's a picture of me and Nikki up there. Yeah. Chad is the one that took our picture. This guy. The one that everybody loves. I think they're like 300, 400 something on Instagram. <laughs> I just love Chad's responsible for that. Definitely. Yeah, thank you, Chad. Appreciate it. He does our headshots, salon stuff that we need. All of my uh um, my banners, pro your business card, all promotional stuff. Mm -hmm. This guy. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> so tell us a little about Chad. Introduce Chad to Salon Noah TV. Yeah. Hi everybody. I'm Chad Flukas. Um, I'm a portrait, fashion, um, and wedding photographer here in the Virginia Beach area. Um, I started photography two years ago. Okay. Uh, I was going to do YouTube. Um, but I decided I didn't want to be in front of the camera, like, you know, this moment right here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right? Yeah, but, um, didn't want to do it right so, here. um, I preferred being behind the camera, so that's where it all started, you know. I started, my first photo was taken in front of a Jeep, you know. Mm -hmm. I have it. You read my Jeep. We want to talk about photography, so we're talking about cameras. Correct? Cameras, yeah. Uh -huh. What about camera choice? Um, like, does that matter, like, when you're starting out? Because people are using their iPhone to take pictures and they're like going viral and Androids. And Androids too as mm. well. Mm -hmm. That's a great question. <laughs> um, depending on your style of work yeah. would be the style of camera you should get. Um, okay. Whether it's D, D, SLR, my, I have a mirrorless camera, I'm a Sony shooter. Okay. But I know people shoot with Canon, Nikon, um, okay. Olympus. Okay. Um, so. I would more, it, it really doesn't matter about the camera body, it's more about the lens for okay. me, because that's what is actually capturing the images um, for me. I could shoot with a, a $200 camera and have a $1,000 lens and the photos would match somebody that has an expensive camera wow. and a kit lens, you know okay. what I'm saying? Gotcha. So um, it's really about your imagination and then also using the resources that you have when it comes to cameras, whether iPhone, I mean, you can record quality videos on the iPhone, but you have to understand what cap capabilities come with the cameras that you, uh, that you have. Okay. Tell us what the most important thing is that you've learned about this industry since you've been here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure um, it's Patience. Oh yes, patience. Um, accessibility, peop uh, people calling me all times of the day yes. and you know I have to be accessible um, mm -hmm. teamwork yes. um, this yeah. year has been all about teamwork for me I kind of pushed myself because when I first started I only wanted to work by myself I didn't want to work with other people because I wanted it to start off being organic mm -hmm. but now I'm gradually allowing people to um, add their artistic value into the creation so mm -hmm. that's something that I'm learning that's okay. something I'm learning, learning how to be a team player. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Okay. <laughs> definitely important because um, regardless of what people think, all successful businesses run off of teamwork. Mm -hmm. You know, and yeah. we're a team. We're a team. We're an amazing team. We're amazing. Yes. Amazing. amazing. The best to ever do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like a lot of these major companies they can't thrive off of just one person like mm -hmm. you have that one person who is known to be the face of the company but in all actuality there is a ginormous mm -hmm. team behind them definitely. to make all of these working parts function so yeah definitely. that's definitely something very important for you to mm -hmm. be able to grasp yes and i mean the further you move down into the photography fashion commercial industry it's never a one man thing so yeah. it's a muscle that i'm continuing to to grow as, okay. I, as I move forward. Now, places to shoot. <laughs> so, do you have certain places like here in the area that you love to shoot? Um, or do you just let the client tell you? How to well, normally um, for sh photo shoots, I try to develop a concept this okay. way that 
once I get the feel of what they want, then I can find a location that kind of fits the direction of the. Um, but when it comes to my favorite, it would be downtown. I like shooting in downtown areas. I like the city vibe. I like the the look, the feel. Okay. Um, also, I'm learning studio, so okay. I like studio as well. So, okay. but location is my favorite. Location okay. is my favorite. And All downtown right. Norfolk, wherever I'm at, I prefer downtown. Okay. So, what are your favorite things to even capture? Like, do you like capturing candies? Do you like Capturing um, fashion, do you like cat? Like, what are your favorite things that you like to capture? I like capturing people. Uh, when it comes to, I don't like environmental architect. <laughs> I don't like going to take pictures of bushes and trees. And stuff like that. <laughs> I like taking pictures of it's people. Not into the bushes <laughs> at all. I, I, I mainly shoot people. I enjoy the interaction and the. Um, for me, photography is it's intimate because. You get a chance to see people differently, and, mm -hmm. and, and photography exposes who you are. You yeah, know what I'm does, saying? Yeah, um, yeah. And it allows people to uh, see a lot of people see things that they don't like in themselves mm -hmm. through photography. So I like being able to shoot and being able to transform and show people a different side of themselves, mm -hmm. or maybe we can learn. Yeah. You know, learn from the situation and and change some things yeah. along the way. Yeah. I'm a totally different person. <laughs> I'm like this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a little stiff. A little stiff. You call that a little bit of a stiff. We you want me to do Chad? A little stiff. You, you said Chad? You had old Chad. Yeah. That's exactly how I move. Like that too. You want me to do your pictures? Chad, what do you do? You want me to do? Okay. What about this? It's no. awful. It's awful. <laughs> no, no. He awful. captures all the great <laughs> shots, but I don't know where he gets them from. Maybe he probably makes them up back there. Now, somewhere. when you're doing the pictures, I hear a lot of people say this all the time. Can you just edit that out? <laughs> Can you just fix that later? Mm -hmm. Guilty. I do, that. I do that too. Guilty. I won. But uh, realistically, is that something that we should expect photographers to do? <clears throat> um, you know, like to contour my face? <laughs> Can you? <laughs> Make it highlight it a little bit. Can you, can you, can you squeeze my waist in a little bit? Yeah. You want the waist can to go in? You, um, you want a six pack? Can you, should we expect that from you? From um, photographers? No. <laughs> I, I don't think that's an expectation. I think yeah. that's an extra service. So you charge me? Oh, yeah. Yes, for yeah, entrepreneurship. I, I, yes. I try to tell people to come the way that you want the photo to be reflected. You know, okay. because. You wouldn't come with your makeup half done and then expect for me to fill in. <laughs> yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And then you, then you yes. attack the makeup artist, but that's not the makeup artist's work. You know, yeah, so gotcha. I think um, I, I don't mind cinching in waists and, and faces and okay. necks and adding volume to the hair. It's nothing wrong with that, but I think that shouldn't be an expectation unless that is the service that you want. Mm -hmm. But I think if you're doing just a normal photo shoot, mm -hmm. I think it should be more about the uh, being authentic mm -hmm. in that. You know what I'm saying? We're, we're going to clear up the skin, but yeah. more of authentic and not trying to be something you're, something you're not. not. No. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. I remember, like, I, I do not have a photography eye, mm -hmm. <laughs> if, you know, if you will. Mm -hmm. um, so for a person who doesn't have that eye for certain things, it's a little bit difficult for them to be able to see the things that you see. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that I love about you is that if I say, I don't see no difference. <laughs> I don't see the difference, mm -hmm. bruh. I don't see it. <laughs> He'll send you and say, this is the original. This is the edit. Yeah. And there's a vast difference. Yeah. It's just that you, for a person like me, you fall in love with whatever the original is, like mm -hmm. whatever you can see at that point in time when yeah. he showed you in the camera. Mm -hmm. um, and that's what you remember. And then you see the other is it took in, in an untrained eye. It doesn't look any different. Yeah. But when you go and look at the finished work, right. you know, it, yeah. it's a vast difference and looked a lot better. Let me <laughs> yeah. But that's definitely oh, one of the things on, that I appreciate yeah. about you. Um, mm -hmm. Because a lot of, and, and I don't know if it's, you know, just part of your growth or whatever the case may be, but a lot of photographers won't do that. You know, it's just, listen, 
this some is people, what some people this just give photos get. straight off the camera. Right. Mm -hmm. They charge extreme. They I seem to be like <laughs> they charge high yeah. to just give it straight off the camera. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's, that's on them. They want to do. I mean, longevity or shortevity. Right. Mean, but um, yeah. I do, I believe, and I try to keep my photos natural. I have been taking Photoshop classes and, okay. and, and you know, educating myself, but I'm going to stick to the original of keeping people looking, looking how out. they look. I don't want you to come somewhere and then people don't recognize who you are okay. because I've, I've contorted you into, you know. This mannequin. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And then I've, 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 had, I've had situations like that where I've, Reached out to models and then they show up. I'm like, you don't look like mm -hmm. me. Oh, hey, Girl. Wow. Yeah. wow. Oh. <laughs> this is, this is crazy. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah. you have to be careful when you are, when you're doing those things because you want people to truly know who yeah, you are. Yeah, know who yeah. you are. Yeah. What are some things that motivate you? Um, working. <laughs> I'm always working, but motiva always. motivating me is working, <laughs> learning, <laughs> growing, <laughs> working, learning, growing, and just creating possibilities. Okay. Um, I just love creating. I just love the imagination of creating. Yeah. The things that come out of our imagination. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what photography can become. Okay. Yeah. I got one more thing. Okay, one more. One more. Go ahead. <laughs> Who would be your dream client? Regardless of whether it would be like a celebrity or just someone you picture that has, you know, great hair, great lips, you know, mm -hmm. things that be like tell us what your dream client is. My dream client would be Tara Banks. Wow. <laughs> love Tara? Her. Love her. Tara. Love her, Tara. <laughs> yeah, I love I love Tara Banks. Yeah, love her. Love mm -hmm. her. Nice. Yeah, that would be that would definitely be my dream client. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She is beautiful. She is. I love her. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. She was a beautiful model. Yes. Absolutely. Thank, Thank you, Chad, for coming today. <laughs> this is a king, and I'm telling you, I'm crushing. Listen, yeah. <laughs> this is the shooter. He's the shooter. Yeah. Definitely, guys. Make sure that you link with Chad. Tell us how they can get in touch with you. Oh, you can follow me on Instagram at Chad Flukas. F L U or C H A D F. L U C A S, and that's the same for my website, just add.com. Right. I definitely look forward to working more with you. Yeah, and definitely. <laughs> so it can be stiff. And I might have a little no, bit of WD 40 by the time I get to swing wrong. Swing and move. Yes, Chad. Thank you so much. Thank y'all for having me. I really appreciate welcome. this. Even though I'm a little shy, but. No, you did an excellent job. He done good. He done good. He did a good job. Definitely make sure that you guys connect with us. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, so that you know when we are launching our new new episodes, which will be every Wednesday. Um, and definitely make sure that you're following us on social media. Yeah. I am at ADI by Nicole J. And I am at Salon Noah. Definitely make sure you link with us, guys. We will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm burning out. You are? You are? It must be. No. No, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you, can't see, you can't see this fan, can you? Yes, I can absolutely see it. Yeah. Yes, I can still <laughs> absolutely <laughs> see it. Don't worry, I'm about to be here. Pass out around here, child. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, think I, don't think, I can't remember. Who can take my pictures if you pass out? Somebody chat. had asked me. Wait, wait, wait. You need to interview, chat. Come back. Get up. Right? You know what I'm saying? What comes out of that? The same thing, <laughs> the same <laughs> thing. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Well.